Uh, I see everybody popping in. This is going to start our Q&A session. Uh, we have very limited time, so we're going to try to get as many questions answered as we can. So make sure just uh, pop it in the chat and uh, I'll answer away. We want to hear your questions too, anything. All right, first question from Allison. How do you deal with students not wanting to do certain jobs? So that, that, that's actually a really good question because uh, at CHSTV, we make sure that each student does every job and gets trained in everything. So obviously there's some students who are more uh, like live interview oriented who are better at talking and other kids who are better at the technical side, but we love to uh, push our students outside of their comfort zones and make sure that they do know how to do everything. And obviously, Everybody has their individual preferences, but we want our uh, broadcasters to be really uh, well-rounded. So I hope that answers that one. And then from Caitlin, do you allow other teachers to visit your school and see your setup? Yeah, we actually do. Um, obviously not this year because of COVID and everything, but in a normal year, we have a lot of other schools and a lot of people visit our studio for to watch shows. And uh, if you, contact Mr. Green, you can set that up because I know we, uh, in a normal year, all the time we have different schools visiting us and we just love to share what we do and share our knowledge with other people. So reach out to Mr. Green for that one. And then Max says, what is CHSTV's application process? Well, to apply to CHSTV um, every year around the end of the year, <clears throat> the end of the school year, we have a uh, application process where you have to submit a couple stories, a sizzle reel, and then we have a video called the Chapman video. So it's basically a video about you. And then you um, you basically submit that. And then we have students, juniors and seniors who sign up to grade those. And then we try to uh, you know grade it pretty fairly. And then uh, whoever gets the highest scores gets into the program. And obviously it's uh, really hard to get into. We only have limited slots every year just due to the uh, volume of students who want to apply. But that's basically, yeah, that's the application process. And then Landon says, what is the most important lesson or tool that you would say you will or have already taken away from your experience, specifically at CHSTV? That's a really good question. Uh, I would have to say, personally, personally, it's the, I would say the deadline, the deadline process, because we obviously have really strict deadlines. And Mr. Green, mimic CHS TV to basically represent a real news station, a professional news station. So we can't miss deadlines. We have to turn in everything on time. And obviously this is easily transfer transferable to other aspects of life, such as sports and work and outside the classroom. So for me, that's been my biggest thing is, you know, we can easily transfer these lessons we learn in CHS TV to the real world. So it's, you know, not just making us better broadcasters, but better people. And uh, for me, that's been my biggest thing. And then Michael says, what are some of your favorite gadgets and technology you have at the CHS studio? Uh, obviously, Magic Window is really cool. We, just, we have a great studio, but I would say Lightcraft is uh, just a really amazing thing. And we haven't been able to use it as much as we would like this year because of COVID. But last year, getting introduced to Lightcraft and everything was uh, honestly, it was really enlightening seeing how it's made and getting the honor to be able to use this uh, technology is really amazing. Oh, I think we have, oh, here we go. So in the Q and A we have, how do you make your audience more engaged in your show? Um, well, when we're actually at school, we have, I mean, honestly, it comes down to the teachers because I think the teachers are really involved in CHS TV as well. And they know how professional we are and I mean, the important news that we give out to the school, the announcements is uh, students need to hear that. So teachers, um, you know, they tend to show the show uh, every day. And in terms of getting the audience more engaged, we try to do stories and pieces that target a high school audience. And we try to do pieces that, you know, on students at school. So, you know, students get to see their friends on the show while they're watching it in the classroom. And we just try to do uh, a lot of stuff that you know, is interesting to high schoolers, so they keep watching it. Um, 
do you think it is worth it to try and join even if you aren't interested in news as a career? That's an interesting question, but I would say yes. I mean, like I was saying, I mean, all these lessons we learn in broadcasting are so easily transferable to any aspect of life, really. And, um, you know, I mean, I think joining the program, you're going to find your niche, you're going to find something that you're going to love in the program, whether it be anchoring, live interviewing, you like the tech side. Um, I know we have a lot of kids in the program who, who want to go and study film and uh, in CHS TV, we have, you know, we do film sometimes. Um, I, I would say it is worth it to try to do it, even if you aren't currently interested in news as a career. I think you are going to, uh, you know, you're going to find something that you love about it. And it's just a great program. Uh, next question. AJ says, how far in advance do you schedule guests? Um, if it's a really important guest, we'll schedule that one. I mean, maybe even a month or two ahead. But when we're in school, in the studio, we schedule guests. I mean, we'll do guests that week or even that day sometimes. Um, most often that day, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most often we have a, we have a roster of everybody at the school and then we'll go and uh, send a pass to their classroom. But I mean, in a normal year, we're doing everything the day of. At 7.30, when everyone gets there, we don't know what we're doing for our show. And it's up to us to decide what we're going to have on the show, what segments, what live guests. And then from there, uh, you know, we can schedule everyone and get them in the studio, which is really cool, I think, because we do everything the morning of. And it gets pretty chaotic, but, well, you know, we figure it out and it's all part of the learning process. Okay, Aaron, we're going to have to wrap it up. Um, okay. And maybe you can just let everybody know how else they can reach you guys for more questions. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap this one up. I know that didn't last that long, but um, if you go to the CHS TV website on the main page, you'll see a big thing with uh, this session on it. And if you click on it, it says you can email us. There should be an email link where you can email us any other questions you have. And we really want you guys to use that, utilize that, and ask us any questions you have because we really like to... Uh, we really like to share our knowledge with you guys and hear also what you guys have had to do with uh, your broadcast this year. So make, make sure to reach out to us. Okay. I want to thank uh, Mr. Green and all of the students over at Carlsbad High School for the amazing uh, video that they shared. Uh, Mr. Green, is it still going to be up uh, on YouTube for people to watch after convention? Yeah, I think it becomes a regular YouTube video, same way. Okay. I believe. So keep it up. All right, perfect. And if you guys got more questions, head on over to their website. And uh, we want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Mr. Green and Aaron and everyone else over at CHS TV. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sharing what you guys are doing. It's an incredible studio you guys have there and a program. Yeah, thanks guys for joining. All right, thanks everybody.